and they were just mentioned, and now it's time if I could get Jamie to the stage. Woo! Everyone goes, wow, if you could hear, everyone's going crazy. Yeah! And Sean, 10 quid shoes, you're up. Oh, <laughs> damn. Uh, a totally unbiased crowd that we got here. <laughs> So Sean, actually, I wanna I wanna ask you something. Yesterday, you didn't get to pick this pool. You were placed here, but you said you would have chosen it. Is Jamie a factor in that? No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I I I don't have much hopes about this set, to be honest. I got it 20 minutes ago. I've been warming up with Brandon's Game and Watch. I've not even been doing that well versus it. <laughs> How do you feel about your opponent? Uh, I'm very confident against Marth. I mean, shoes is good, but I'm better. So. <laughs> hey, what? Uh, are you gonna stage strike or start battlefield? Okay, right. any final words for each other? Good luck. All right, cool. We have Jamie, we have Sean. Let's game. All right, we're getting into it now. Jigglypuff versus Marth. Now, a matchup that Tenka Choose is very familiar with, but I doubt he's used to playing against Jamie. On the flip side, I have no idea how many Marths Jamie has played, but he's a netplay warrior. I feel like when you're a netplay guy... It's different in person! <laughs> he's not ready. There are real human beings making noise behind him, and he doesn't have headphones. That's true. But do netplay people have unpracticed matchups? No. <laughs> you played everybody! <laughs> true. Right? Especially when you're one of, like... You know, when you're a European Cuban, you played everybody. That's very true. But this used to be Sean's, like, one of his comfort matchups, right? Yes. Um, though, from that interview, he doesn't sound too confident. <laughs> yeah. Sean, Sean going into his interview yesterday's confidence. That's the pool I wanted anyway. I've done it <laughs> <Yeah>. again! <laughs> one round of sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the adrenaline wore off. But even if it's a 3-0... We'll, we'll know in 20 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to take so, some time. Like you were saying, absolutely a matchup he knows what to do in. It's can he do it against Jamie. Mm -hmm. um, I know he's been very back and forth against GG recently in this matchup. I think we're losing edge, but we're yeah. very close game. Ooh. Well, looks like he knows how to do the edge guarding, and that is pretty crucial in this <laughs> matchup. Marth, like, as famous as he is for gimping characters, he actually gets gimped by every character yeah. in this game so easily. You catch his jump and bye-bye. Yeah, or like one bad side beat. Even if you have a jump, it doesn't matter. Absolutely. The shocking is going to be huge in this matchup. Yeah, Obviously, Marth struggles ways. coming down, but that Puff's up air is actually such an amazing tool. For combos, for tech chase setups, for shocking. Yeah, it has such, like, that juicy little bit of knockback. Yeah. It's like, I'm either going to arrest you or I'm going to hit you more. <laughs> yeah. And you gotta guess, right? Yeah, great cow attack. You can tell how intentional that was, too. Ooh, good hang time on the recovery there, but the back air, that leg is so long! Yeah, you're gonna have to try harder than that to get back, Sean. Yeah, you can't be lazy with it. I mean, he's been playing Brandon's Game and Watch, so you, <laughs> you know. He's a kind of ready. Yeah, Actually, got this is the guy who couldn't do the maths in his pool of fate. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we expecting anything but from those him? Are you out of the loop. Uh, Ten quid at fate. Played a couple games. Were like, oh, no matter what happens in my next few sets, I just lose. I'm gonna DQ. Absolutely was untrue. <laughs> <laughs> he had to beat his bottom seed to make gold <laughs> pools, and he DQ'd <laughs> into the silver. Oh, maybe if he really gives up, we just see Roy. This might be the most character diverse <laughs> pool. It's true. We've and had Sheik. We've had Zelda. God, <laughs> had it's crazy that the Zelda counter pick was legit, and actually so is the Roy one. <laughs> yeah. One of, you know, oh yeah, true. One of Roy's less bad matchups is definitely Jigglypuff. Yeah. But you'd rather be Marth, right? <laughs> you'd hope so. Yeah. Uh, I I would be very surprised though, now that you mentioned it, if we don't see a Yoshi Roy game. Oh, okay, yeah. I think if Sean goes down two games, we're going to Yoshi's Roy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Yoshi, Yoshi's Roy into Juicer. <laughs> <laughs> Truest combo. But I think, uh, yeah, Jamie seems to be gaming. Yeah. It does not matter. The, we can't call him a netplay kid. He's actually just looking kind of legit. No, yeah, I mean, even that interview, he came across so confident. Yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, you need it. Although... Oh no, oh no. I guess that's why he's confident. He's like, dude, my opponent can't even recover. Well, so what I assume that is, uh, Sean getting punished for those slightly lazy RBs. Mm -hmm. He tried to go as low as he could. Yeah. And just a little bit too low in Battlefield Legends, you know? Yeah, they're tricky. Yeah, no water right up. Game one for Jamie. I was going to say, these kids, man, they don't, they don't know fear. So if they compete early enough, 
they just have the mindset from the go. They have no fear, they'll, and they'll never learn it. Is Sean, does Sean do grab ready stuff? In this matchup, do you he know? tries to do Moth Tech. But how successful he is remains yeah. to be seen. The Game & Watch warm-up not proven to be too legit right now. Though. <laughs> and these are the situations you have to win. Like, yeah, Puff spent all their jumps and he still couldn't uh, land a hit. Like, that's kind of your freebie. Ooh, good by Jamie to go low there. Yeah, great, great, like, aerial spacing. Although down tilt, that's, that's a hard move to, <laughs> to get around. Finding ground, Ooh. though. You're just kind of, like, abusing, like, his spacing in and out. I think Sean is just really good at pressuring people by the ledge yeah. in general. I think that's, like, one of his strengths as a player. Like, yeah, he just spent a good... 25 seconds there, just winning neutral over and over again by the ledge. Yeah, never, I mean, never giving it up. Eventually, your moves will kill, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, trying to come down with a little, little bit of cheese there, but yeah, completely I mean, getting away with it. Like, that was fine. He is slowly bringing the deficit back, especially considering the first will stop just a 10 second rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much an even game since then. Yeah. Oh, Jamie trying to cover low, but Ooh, Moth. Yeah, he just about swung through. However, still the coverage from Jamie. Hello. Oh, got very it, greedy with that down air, and he's going to get punished with a big up smash to close out that stuff. Yeah. Up smash is actually really good against the floaties. Yeah. Yeah, drill up smash. Holy yeah. moly. Just a straight up kill confirm. And honestly, it's useful in all, pretty much every moment. Gets you grabs, gets you everything. But here we're back at the ledge. Maybe there's another 30 seconds of intricate ledge play. Yeah, somewhat. There you go. <laughs> once, once, you're, once you're past that gray line, Sean might just kill you. <laughs> That's the, uh, the marker, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, be careful. You're close to the gray line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up airs. Can't get a finisher off it, but he doesn't really need to when you just knocked up 80%. No! Oh, can he close it? The reversal. But yeah, Puff has so many jumps, and Sean missing the grab there. Jamie is escaping, but that was quite close. It doesn't actually take too much percent either, so no. it's good to just come. Oh, but oh no, we're in this situation. The gray line. Sean dancing on that line. Gray oh no, the grab. Puff is too little, and Jamie finally gets past the gray line and maybe converts it to a stock. No, I had to roll up a little early. Let Sean get back. But now we have another chance. The mythical gray line. The wall of Berlin. Ooh, big up smash call out. It's closing another stock. Uh, one rest, two up smashes. If you're not winning at the gray line, that's it. The semis <laughs> will be done. That was your one area, Sean. And you don't call him Sean. I'm not going to say tank with shoes every time. Are you mental? <laughs> I know someone cares. It's a good tag, but it's so many syllables. Yeah. Tenor. I'll just call him Tenor. Ooh, that upper was quite strong. I'm almost surprised Puff didn't die if she wasn't Puff. Yeah. I feel like she just always lives when you think she wouldn't. Nice, he's finding his grabs. Waiting for a grab release? No, he's not. He goes to the down throw mix up. It was the ultra mind game. Yeah. Is Jamie and Masha? I haven't watched him. Evidently not. <laughs> no, I guess not. Well, he was at 140. Yeah. <laughs> he almost babysit that roll, but he's landed the back as Sean just about squeezes through. Huge grab, but he doesn't quite get the forward smash. That was big. He's got another one. Doesn't go for the forward smash that time. Just choose to take the percent. Might live to regret it, though, because there's quite a high amount on his end. Yeah, Sean using... Oh! Aerial control. He had the radar on. Swat and puff out. It didn't lead to a kill, but it's a statement piece. Yeah. Oh, what a grab though. Yeah, I'm lucky angle. Oh no, this could get rough. That's yeah, Jamie goes good. out there too. Oh yeah, he was confident for a reason. So I think Sean is probably feeling comfortable in the path there, right? Yeah. You go back? Maybe. Roy, Roy Yoshi's. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> <laughs> I was being hopeful. I was being so hopeful. So Uppy does kill at zero hit. That's a match. <laughs> but it's like such a specific scenario, it's the first, right? It's the first hit. But, and you have to be like turned around and stuff like there's conditions to be I met. I think you can make it work in quite a few ways, but yes. It's not practical, but it's not impractical. Exactly. It's a tool in the matchup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the many ways you can't use it, like that. Yeah. <laughs> I love the real back from Short as well. He's one of the most animated people. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe. You've got to overshoot sometimes. But thankfully, Roy can't do that much. Look at that up there. Floundering. All it does is build the percent, and even then, it's not that much. It's not much percent. And you know, honestly, the knockback is so bad that against Puff, sometimes you're disadvantaged. <laughs> yeah, you just can get drilled. Yeah. 
No, but you can't be lazy with it. He's still going to get smacked. Nice coverage on the tech there, but not the second. Sean got out. Oh, dangerous. Is there something in this? I think there are down throw up air setups, but he was just a little bit too high percent. Sorry, down throw up B. <laughs> of course there are. When you play a character like Roy, you do spend a lot of your time labbing those out, right? Yeah. It's like, here's my funny little setup <laughs> yeah. that I'm going to hit someone with on stream and clip him. Okay, so you go to Yoshi's as Roy because you want early gimp kills on Puff. You're now a stock down and she's 150%, and you're still not close to killing. 154 fair at the edge of Yoshi's did nothing. Yeah, this might have been, this is, might be a disaster. <laughs> well, good grab though. Yeah. He doesn't get anything off it, but the grab was amazing. We're like proud of our kid at the school play for doing his like one line. <laughs> oh, and what a line it was. He sung it beautifully. Up throw, finally killing it. God knows what percent. Disappeared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh! That was kind of sick. I'm upset that didn't kill. He really called out Sean's drift there. But speaking That's of call outs, speaking of call outs, he's in the lead now. <laughs> this is why we pick Yoshi's. And then he's going to get counter picked. But for now, it's hype. Oh, he doesn't. He just doesn't have his down throw cheeses ready to go like that. Well, yeah, I mean, sh uh, his sword is so much smaller, and Puff is just able to jump out. <laughs> yeah. Well, dead even stocks, but she died at like 13% last yeah, time. So oh, it, no, she can do it too. Wait, but hold on, this could be Yeah, kill. you have the punish. You have yeah. the punish. We're at last stock. If Sean can find it. If there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a Roy, there's a way. But Puff is still Puff. That shield getting so small. Nice little mix up there from Jamie. And he just comes oh, he down with the out. rest. Huge. Oh, excellent showing by Jamie there with a quick 3-0. You guys thought 4D was going to be long. Let's see what Jamie has to say about that. Just getting uh, Max over there to talk to him now. He looks exhausted. But you know, I won 3-0, so I got the job done. So Roy did a little better than you were expecting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, now you're going to go on to face the GG. How, are you ready for that one? Not looking forward to playing some classic Zelda Puff? <laughs> I hope it's Puff Joe's, but if it's Zelda Puff, then it's so good. I think now that you said, I hope it's Puff Joe's, it's definitely not going to be Puff Joe's. <laughs> yeah? 